guys, it's Dana, and today I'm going to be talking about going to the Why Don't We concert in Detroit at the Fox Theater. The show was on Thursday, April 11th, and oh my god, guys, it was so fun. Like, oh my god, I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin. Um... I'm still dying. I'm still recovering. Definitely one of the best nights of my life ever. And I'm so glad that I'm talking about this today. It's going to be so fun. Why don't we is obviously one of my favorite topics. So I am ready to go. I'm going to be telling you all about my concert experience. And I'm going to talk to you about my meet and greet because I met them. I'm just going to talk about the experience of the entire situation. So yeah. Yeah. All right, so basically what happened was my friend and I got out of school around one o'clock and we both got ready for the concert. Then my friend and I got in the car and we went down to Detroit. And let me tell you, driving down to Detroit, Michigan is a very stressful time. But anyway, we got down there fine and what was going on was i had bought my parking ticket it on this app called like parkwiz it's connected to ticketmaster and they sent me an email and um i bought my parking ticket right away because when my friend and i went down to detroit to see ed sheeran we didn't get parking ahead of time all the parking garages were full my friend and i ended up having to like go back into some neighborhoods and we found this like christian outreach center and it was like a mile away from uh ford field and we parked there and um like nobody said anything um our car wasn't broken into and we didn't have a ticket if you're ever going to a concert and you can't find parking find a church or some kind of religious outreach center for all they know you're inside praying i mean who can prove that you're not in there praising the lord no one back to the why don't we concert parking so i had bought that parking but before i bought it i didn't know that i was going to be going to the meet and greet the parking spot that I had in the parking garage it didn't open until five o'clock and the meet and greet was at 3 45. There's a Episcopal church across the street from the Fox Theater and we parked there because we thought that we were only going to be in there for like an hour for me to meet them and then we were going to leave but obviously we figured out that yeah once you get in there they also scan your actual concert ticket so you can't leave anymore. We thought that after I went to the meet and greet, I would be able to come back out of the theater and we would be able to like go get dinner and like hang out a little bit before the show. Because I thought that when I went in to the meet and greet that they would just scan my normal ticket and that they wouldn't scan my regular concert ticket, but they did. And it was in that moment that I realized, okay, well, I can't leave now. My friend left all her money, all her ID and stuff in there because we thought we were gonna be able to go back to the car and we could not. So a good thing I had all my stuff because I had to bring my ID in and everything for the meet and greet. So anyway, the meet and greet. We get to Detroit at like three o'clock. So we have, a, we have a good amount of time to, you know, like get in line and everything. So meanwhile, I'm still freaking the fuck out because I have my friend's tickets and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in because like that's just not how it works like the person that buys the tickets is supposed to be the person who goes to the meet and greet so at least that's what they say on their website so anyway we end up you know going to the will call area and we're waiting in there and we met these two girls um shout out to them uh one of their names okay one of them was called melina and then the other girl was Emma. And those were the first, you know, why don't we friends that we met in there and they were really cool and it was nice because they kind of like they'd been to a concert before and I think they said that they met them before too. Yeah, I think they'd met them like three times before. So they knew what they were doing and their mom was there and my friend and I just kind of like chilled out with them for a little bit. And then finally John, their tour manager came in and like told us what was gonna happen. He took all the limelights out, he came back probably like 15 or 20 minutes later. And then he said, VIP one packs, come with me. I had a VIP one pack. So my friend and I went and we ended up getting inside of the theater. The lady scanned my ticket. Um, Cora just, you know, came with me or whatever. And then we got into the line where you show your ID and um, you show like 
the lady who's gonna check you in your ticket so at this point I'm dying because I don't think that I'm gonna get in like I think that I'm gonna go up there and she's gonna be like well sorry you know you didn't you weren't the person who originally bought these so you can't go like you can't go so I was not excited I was quaking so I finally get up there and I show her my ID so I show her my driver's license and then I show her a copy of my friend's ID that she gave me and she's like okay so I'm looking under CAS and then and then I was like actually no um my friend gave these to me and then she was just like okay and then she just like kept going and I was like what what like because my mom and I literally emailed the management company it said the sale of VIP tickets is prohibited and the only person who can use the VIP tickets is the person who purchased them and I didn't buy them like I mean well I bought them from her but like her mom bought them and then the ID that was submitted was her ID so yeah I didn't think I was gonna get in but I fucking got in after I got in um I went over to this other lady she scanned my actual concert tickets then so I had it on the page with my concert ticket and she scanned that and then she swiped and scanned Cora's concert ticket too which is not good we asked the woman like where should she go because um like she doesn't have VIP but I don't want to lose her they said that she could come in there and be with me until I went in the meet and greet after I left and like went where I needed to go they told her that she had to leave and they already scanned her ticket so we're in a predicament after that I got through there were three different lines of people that were like waiting for VIP and I got put in the third line where I met these amazing girls named Morgan, Jay, and Riley. And like I've never really like gone to a concert and like met other people there but I was just waiting in line and they were there and I just decided to talk to them because you know I didn't want to stand there the entire time doing nothing and they looked like they were pretty cool so I went over and talked to them. Sweetest girls of all time. They're the best. Like shout out to them. Oh my gosh. If it wasn't for them, I don't know how my VIP experience would have went. We got let in, like a couple minutes later, they said line three could go in. So we got in the big line and we waited um, to actually meet them for a while. Like I would say 20 minutes plus. We're just standing there like talking, having a good time, waiting. Finally, they decided to come out. Um, <laughs> well, actually th the reason that they weren't there and why we were waiting is because of limelight. So after limelight ended, they came out. Jack was like going over and drinking water. None of the other guys were like doing anything, but he was going over and drinking water. And then he was like, he kept peeking out and like looking at us and waving. And he would like talk to the girls that were up there. Finally, our turn to get up there. I was the last one of us to go. They tell me to go. And so this is my meet and greet experience, guys. So I go around the corner like to go behind the backdrop where they are and Jack like ran at me like he like ran at me and I just like so <laughs> I was like hey Jack like what's up and I I was actually completely normal yeah! I'm so proud of myself like I was a hundred percent myself it was pretty sweet and then you have to go over to Zach and I was like hey Zach like what's up you know give him a hug and then I go over to Jonah and I'm like you know same thing I'm like hey how are you like what's up um you know gave him a hug and then I accidentally stepped on his foot <laughs> and then I was just like uh sorry like I didn't mean to and I don't really know what he said like I don't know I think he said like it's fine or, like whatever like he didn't care um and then after you get to Jonah you have to take the picture so I'm standing between Jonah and Corbin and um then <laughs> Because I wanted to be next to Daniel for the picture because Daniel's my favorite. I love him. So anyway, I'm sitting next to Corbin and they're about to take the picture. And then I'm like, oh wait, I want to be next to Daniel. And I'm like literally go across of Corbin and go next to Daniel. And like, I didn't think that inside my head. Like I said that I was like, oh, I want to be, I was like, oh wait, I want to be next to Daniel. And I like moved and went right next to him. It was kind of funny. Um, And then Daniel, like he like put his arms around me like this so like I'm standing like this but his arms are like around me and then he was like he was like stroking my shoulder like this and he was like hugging me and that's how we took the picture <sighs> it was lovely like he's such a sweet human being I loved him and we were both wearing red so like that was kind of like couple goals you know so <laughs> 
But yeah, and then um, after the picture was taken, then I like said hi to Corbin and I gave him a hug and then, you know, I said hi to Daniel again, gave him a hug and um, yeah, and then Daniel was like, oh, you know, enjoy the show. And then I said, you know, like have fun guys, like, you know, have fun doing what you do, have fun performing. And then after that, I realized, I was like, wait, I didn't tell them what my name was. But then I also thought, well, they're meeting like at least a hundred people tonight, definitely more than that. And I'm like, well, they probably wouldn't have remembered my name like 10 seconds later, so it's fine. I mean, overall, like it was a good experience meeting them. I absolutely loved it. It was so cool. Cause I just, I adore them. Like they're all just, they're so funny. They're all weird. Like they're just, they're five idiots. Like I just, I love them and I love their music and it was just so fun to meet them. They're all a bunch of teddy bears. Like they're the sweetest human beings. The only thing that I didn't like about the meet and greet experience, the VIP, is just how quick it is. Like, you're probably there for like two minutes maximum, but it literally feels like you were talking to them for like five seconds. At least that was my experience. I, the girls that I was talking about before, I think they felt the same way. Oh yeah, and fun fact, um, I think it was, I think it was Jay. She told me that she stepped on Jonah's foot too, so. I'm not alone. I'm not alone in this. I think Jonah just has big feet. I don't really know, but yeah, it was so short. Like I paid $149 to literally take a picture with them and then like speak to them for like a couple seconds. And Daniel was the one that I talked to the most, which I'm not complaining about because you know, he's my favorite, but you know, I wish I could have like talked to them a little bit more. So yeah, Um. so overall review, it was a good experience. I definitely recommend doing it if you can, but I personally wouldn't do it again. Like I wouldn't pay $149 again to take a picture with them and like talk to them for like 10 seconds. Like, yeah, I wouldn't do that again. So next time I go to the concert, I'm gonna try to get Limelight. If I can't get Limelight, then I guess I'll just do meet and greet again. But you know, if I like have the option, I would rather do Limelight. So. I'd probably just get a cheaper seat and then I'd pay for limelight. So that's my plan for next tour. And then after that, I had to go find Cora. So I get out there, back into like the lobby area and I'm looking for her, can't find her, can't find her. So then um, I get a text message from her that's like, oh, are you almost done? So then I try to text her back, but it won't let me, which is really weird. So anyway, then I call Cora, she says, that the lady made her leave, which I didn't know. She was waiting with the general admission for like to get it. So I'm like frantic and she's frantic because her ticket already got scanned. So in since they made her leave, we're like, how the fuck is she supposed to get back in? Like, what are we gonna do? Like, how is she gonna get back in here? So I go over there by the doors and I'm waiting. And um, yeah, she finally like, gets you know they open the doors to the general admission they start coming through so Cora gets through and she gets to the guy and she like goes to like you know go to me and then the guy like stops her obviously because she can't walk past him and then we just kind of like told him what was going on like that her ticket was already scanned or whatever and he just like I don't think he wanted to deal with our situation like I think he generally just like didn't give a fuck and he needed to pay attention to what was going on so he was just like yeah whatever like you can come in so we were both like all right you're really like, sweet at this point She's really hungry. After we got the food, we were looking for the bathroom. So we went all the way on this side of the lobby to find the bathroom because I thought I saw somebody walk out of the bathroom after the meet and greet, but but no, there, there wasn't a bathroom over there. So then we had to go all the way back to the other side. And mind you, this place is swamped. There's people everywhere. Like you have to be like, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, like move me around. It's crazy, it's crazy. So. Yeah, we get to the other side and we go downstairs and the bathroom's actually not busy, surprisingly, and it's pretty sick down there. Like, it's pretty cool. There's all these couches down there and like mirrors. It was pretty great. I loved it. After that, we went back upstairs and then we were gonna get in line for merch, but it was packed at that point so then we went inside and we listened to one of the opening acts named Bryn Elliott we found our seats um we were on the far right side of the uh theater but I got I got us tickets I got us tickets in the sixth row we were really really close to the stage um I paid $179 for those tickets um I hope pricing is helpful I'm just letting you guys know how much I paid um, and then I got those tickets from this girl on Twitter 
basically she transferred the tickets to my Ticketmaster account and then I Venmoed her the money. Be careful though when you're buying tickets from people online just saying. Um, yeah, she was, I got lucky and I mean, I was really careful. Like I checked and made sure that she was a real person and you know, talked to her and everything. And I made sure that the whole situation wasn't sketchy, like that she was gonna transfer the tickets onto my account and like everything, it was all fine. I made sure I took pictures of all of her conversations and her Twitter and everything just in case she did scam me so that I could like report it. But obviously she was an angel, so she didn't do that and that was great. Um, so then we listened to Bryn Elliott, but if I'm being 100% real here, I did not give a fuck about her. I was like, I don't wanna listen to you, whatever. But then I went in there and she was actually really good and I kinda liked her. So that was good. And then also, um, I wasn't excited for Evan either. I listened to some of his music before the concert because I didn't even know what he did. And then I found out that he was a rapper and I was like, oh. And then I, and then I listened to some of his music. I listened to like his next X, whatever it's called. And then I listened to one other song that's like one of his most popular ones. And then I was like, oh, his music's shit. Like, I don't like it. But actually he's a really great performer. I liked all of his songs live except for next X. It was still really fun to dance to and hang out and everything. So, and he's he's a sweetie. Evan is so sweet. Like, um, we were all going crazy or whatever and he was up there. He was so touched and you could tell that he just really loves what he does. And he just was like, you guys are the best. Like everything, like he looked like he was about to cry. It was literally the sweetest thing of all time. Like, so after that, we waited for the actual, like for why don't we to actually come out and start performing. <sighs> And then they came out. Oh, they started with Trust Fun Baby. One of my favorite songs is a fucking bop. Like, oh my God, I love it. So they came out and you know how I said before that when I met them, I was like perfectly calm. So when they came out on stage, I almost started crying. And like, that doesn't really make any sense. They come out on stage to start singing and I'm like literally tearing up. Like I'm almost like about to cry. Like if anything, I feel like I should have cried when I met them. Like not when they came out on stage and started singing. Like that's so backwards, I feel like. Oh, they're such good performers. They're so good. And they danced and everything. They're just so talented. You know, the song that you hear on your iPod literally sounds the same in real life. It was so great. Um, and then they even did like a mashup, which was really cool. <laughs> like 10 out of 10. I recommend going to see Why Don't We if you can. Um, I hope that if you're a Why Don't We fan that you are blessed enough to be able to see them someday because they are just so great. Like it was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. If you guys have any questions, ask me below and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I hope that I shared my experience good enough with you guys and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Eyes ahead, bitch.